let's say you came across this question in your chemistry exam how will you solve it it is very easy now let's solve together the question says which of the following oxide is basic now this question is extremely very easy now before we solve any question in chemistry it is very important for us to understand the aspect to which the question is from and from the look of things this question on the board is on a vital aspect in chemistry called metals and non-metals so this question is on this aspect in chemistry called metals and non-metals but in the course of solving this question i'll be explaining to you key concepts to note so that when you see other questions under this aspect you are going to have an idea to solve the question without stress so listen very well now first of all why did i even say that this question is on metals and non-metals i saw the word oxide relax i read the question again the question says which of the following oxide is basic meaning that you know we're giving options meaning that all of these options here they are oxides and then i said that which of them is basic it tells us that when we talk about the chemistry of oxides even if you've not heard about oxides before in the course of this lesson you are going to understand this concept properly so in the chemistry of oxides we have different types we have different types of oxide but in the course of this question they are asking us for the basic oxide so which of them is a basic oxide now before i will tell you the answer to the question it is very important for me to tell you what oxides are so now let's start what are oxides in chemistry you should know here that oxides are compounds remember compounds are made up of different elements all right compounds are formed by the combination of different elements hydrogen for instance combines with chlorine you get hcl so that is a compound so compounds are formed by the combination of different elements chemically combined together so i just told you that oxides are compounds but what type of compounds oxides are binary compounds please take note oxides are what binary compounds you can see that i specified meaning that you should be aware that for an oxide to be binary it tells us that that oxide any compound that is an oxide will be made up of two elements please take note of this so any compound being binary it means that that compound will be made up of how many elements two elements now observe all the options you will see that forget about the numbers you are seeing attached to them just the elements you are seeing for option a carbon is an element and oxygen you can see it here so two elements same applies option b sulfur is one element oxygen is another element two elements as well same applies sodium is one element and this zinc is another element and this as well so if you observe you can see there's one element that is common to all of the options this tells us that oxides are a set of compounds that is made up of oxygen and another element please listen very well so what makes up oxides oxygen and any other element so it is that element attached to oxygen that tells us the type of oxides please listen very well so for instance let's say for instance when oxygen as an element combines with metals listen very well when oxygen as an element combines with metals they form basic oxides what did i say when oxygen as an element combines with metals they form what basic oxide but when oxygen and non-metals wow when oxygen and non-metals combine they form a type of oxide called 
acidic oxides. Are you following me? You can see how all of this works. They are all very easy. First of all, oxygen combined with a metal is going to form basic oxide. Oxygen combined with a non-metal is going to form what? Acidic oxide. So we have other types of oxides like neutral oxides, like amphoteric oxides. Relax. These are the key things you should note. All right. So how do we get the answer to this question? Because you have to observe. You can see I said that when oxygen combines with a metal, the oxide is going to form its basic oxide. And the question is asking us which of the following oxide is basic? So as a student, you have to now look at the elements that are, that are attached to oxygen in each of the options. You can see option A, carbon is attached to oxygen. Now, for carbon to actually attach to oxygen to form CO2, there's a chemistry behind it. But please listen very well. You should understand here that carbon is not a metal. Carbon is a non-metal. So being, since carbon is a non-metal, this CO2 can never be a basic oxide. CO2 will not be an acidic oxide because carbon is actually a non-metal. Same applies to sulfur. Sulfur is a non-metal. So when sulfur combines with oxygen, what type of oxide are we going to form? Acidic oxide. But sodium is actually a metal. I know you're wondering, how did I know that sodium is a metal? Sodium is actually a metal. That is why it is very key to understand the chemistry of the periodic table. So as to know the different states of elements in the periodic table. At least you have to know for the first 20 elements. Because this is the areas questions come out from. So, sodium is a metal. Hence, sodium actually is the basic oxide. I know you're wondering, zinc is also a metal. Yes, zinc is a metal, but you have to be aware about this. Zinc is a special metal that does not form a basic oxide. Zinc actually forms what we call an amphoteric oxide. Now, what are amphoteric oxides? Amphoteric oxides are oxides that behave like acid and base. So they behave like acidic and basic oxide together. This zinc oxide, ZNO, is called zinc oxide. This is Na2O, sodium oxide. Are you there? Please listen. This is carbon 4 oxide. This is sulfur 4 oxide. There are reasons for all of that. But this zinc oxide, you can say I'd not say zinc something oxide. It's actually zinc oxide. There's a reason. You can say I'd not say sodium 2 oxide. No, it's sodium oxide. Just listen very well. You can see that I said that zinc is not a basic oxide. Zinc oxide here is an amphoteric oxide. And what are amphoteric oxides? They are oxides, they are behave like both acidic and basic oxide together. So this guy can serve as an acidic oxide and also serve as a basic oxide. But there are exceptions, just few elements. But most metals, when they combine with oxygen, they form a basic oxide. There are other uh, metals that can actually behave like an amphoteric oxide. In the case of aluminium, aluminium also behaves like an amphoteric oxide. Are you there? Now, how will you know elements in the periodic table that are metals and non-metals? That's why you should understand the chemistry of the first 20 elements. Now, let me quickly draw the periodic table of the first 20 elements so you understand what is happening. All right, so here is hydrogen, here is helium, here is lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon. All right, uh, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, all right, sodium, Magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon, potassium, and calcium. So basically, you should understand this. This is the periodic table of the first 20 elements. Just a sketch diagram. All right. So basically, let's just quickly, you know, explain them for you so you understand what is happening. So I believe this is the periodic table of the first 20 elements. I believe we know them. Hydrogen, helium, though they have acronyms to actually know them. So basically, you should understand that elements, okay, group one element, they have their names. These are the groups, the vertical guys, they are the group. This group two elements, all right, group one, group two elements, group three elements, group four elements, like that, like that. Do you understand that to group O or group eight? So moving further, I just have to tell you something. Elements from group one to group three, they are metals, all right? They are metals. Because group one element, they are called alkali metals. Group two element, they are called the alkali X metals. Group three elements, they are called X metals. Are you there? From group four down, they are majorly the non-metals. In chemistry, we have more of non-metals than metals. So if you observe, 
Are you not seeing that sodium is actually sodium from here? They are the metal. Sodium is a metal. Do you understand? Though zinc is a metal, but I told you the exception zinc, aluminium, they behave like amphoteric oxides. So the answer to this question becomes option C because option C contains a, a metal that basically behave like a basic oxide because metals generally they behave like basic oxide. Zinc is not a basic oxide no aluminium they are amphoteric oxide now moving further there are ways to actually know that a compound is a basic oxide that compound listen when it's basically react with water it is going to form a base please listen basic oxides they behave like bases what's a base a base is a compound or a substance when dissolved in water it produces I drop side ion as the only negative ion. So, for instance, this guy is to react with water, H2O. We are going to form a base. That's another way to actually know that this is a basic oxide. Please listen. Another way to actually know that this is a basic oxide is when you test it with litmus. You know, we have the red litmus and blue litmus. All right. Basis, anything that has basic property. Since this guy is a basic uh, oxide, that means it has basic property. Basis turns, listen, basis turns red litmus paper blue. So, for instance, you use you you test it with a red litmus, all right? You put a red litmus paper inside this compound that is a base, it changes to blue. So, this tells you that oh, this guy or this compound is actually a basic oxide or it's actually a base. But if it was to be an acid, acid turns blue litmus red. Base turns red litmus blue. I believe you understand what's happening. So we've come to the end of this video lesson. If you find my video lesson helpful, make sure you click on the subscribe button to my channel and also share my lessons to friends. I already have so many full video lessons on my channel. So ensure you go watch those lessons on my channel. All right. The name of my channel is Nosbright. So you can learn chemistry without stress. Thanks for watching.